apocalyptic storm is now brewing. Right now, we are currently facing multiple disasters, everything from a food crisis to a supply chain crisis to inflation, recession, an economic crisis, not to mention talk. Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is your brother Yerushalam coming back at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash. And this video is going to be entitled An Apop Apocalyptic Storm is Brewing. Alright? Prophecy hitting like never before. Alright, so you heard you heard um Lisa Haven, right, talk about, you know, all these things that happening all at once. Alright? You know, as if as if that could ever be coincidence. No, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he's the one doing this. Alright? You talk about famine. Alright. You talk about the supply chain crisis. You talk about um she talk about um inflation, recession, economic crisis, uh um different forms of pestilence. Alright? And and then of course, not to mention Illumin War. Alright? Illumin nuclear war, alright, with Russia and nato okay so hey we 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 in we in the, we in this time we in the last days all right and what we've seen here is prophecy being played out the lord said plainly he said hey you know you know um his word doesn't go out void all right the lord's word doesn't go out void all right and that's just the facts all right his word doesn't go out void it's going to accomplish everything that is set out to accomplish Okay, let me um bring a little um a scripture here. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter fifty-five, and verse eleven. It reads, "For so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth; it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it." So. The scriptures, you know, speak about all these pestilences, all these things happening that are happening now. All right, those are prophecies. All right, and the Lord is the one who who, um, who told us the prophecies, you know, who, who declared the end from the beginning. All right. Let me just get that one more scripture, and then we'll um we'll just jump back into the video. Isaiah forty six. Isaiah forty six and verse eight. It's, it reads. Remember this, and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am power, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times the things that are not yet done. Okay? And all these things were declared in, from since, from thousands of years ago. Alright? saying my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasure and lord pleasure is to bring forth his word all right let's play a little more of this and we jump to some more scriptures of nuclear war and we are in fact in the middle of a war a war between russia and ukraine and and the potential of it breaking out into world war three on top of that we also have the other pestilences breaking out as you're going to see in a moment and not to mention the natural disasters droughts and fires and floods all hitting us at the very same time this is an apocalyptic style storm that is now hitting and the only good thing that i could see out of this if i have to point one good thing out is this simple fact the true authority that is jesus christ is just signaling his return because in the bible it talks about how these things wars rumors of wars uh, pandemics pestilences famine are all a sign uh, and the more that they increase the sooner jesus is to coming so with that i've got so much to show you in today's broadcast but before i do all right you know well she going she she's right with prophecy but she's wrong with that name because the Lord's name is not Jesus Christ, right? What they're looking for is a so-called white man to coming back, you know? But what they're going to get is complete, complete opposite, all right? And that's one of the major lies in this place, you know? And that, it was prophesied, you know, that was, that's another prophecy as well, all right? You know, that's another prophecy as well. But the Lord spoken, you know, that, you know, he's going to give us back his name in this time, all right? 
And that's, that's also come to pass because his true name is Yahweh Shai. Right? Yah means he, Yahweh Shai means deliverer or savior. He's deliverer, he's the savior. Right? The Lord said he wouldn't, he wouldn't uh, um, suffer us to be without his name. Okay? He wouldn't suffer us to be without his name. And he has given back his name. So he made good on his prom promise. Alright, the Lord has made good on his promise. This is Isaiah 48 and verse and verse um verse 10. It says, Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the fullness of affliction. Who's he chosen? Israel. For mine own sake, even for mine own sake, will I do it. For how should my name be polluted? All right. And I will not give my glory unto another. All right. The Lord didn't give his glory unto another. Okay. Hearken unto me, O Jacob and Israel. My called, I am he, I am the first, I am all I also am the last. So all these other nations looking for this white man to come back. They ain't gonna see that. All they're gonna see is a so-called black man, a so-called Negro. Right? Of the tribe of Judah. Alright, that's what they're gonna see. According to Revelation 1 and 14, according to Daniel 10 and 5. Alright, I won't go into that for that time. But they they ain't gonna see that. So the Lord is all about his prophecy. Alright. And the prophecy is essential as we see now it being made manifest all right the lord said measured out the times diligently in itself second Ezra chapter 9 let me read that second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1 and it reads he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs past which i have told thee before you know you know the lord give us signs all right then shalt thou understand that it is this very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when you shall hear, see, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people and the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, the end is manifest. So the end is manifest. And Yahweh Shai himself spoke, spoke on this. Let me go to the book of Matthew. Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 24. Matthew, chapter 24. Uh, start at verse 3. It says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, this is Yahweh Shai, he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, what shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? and the end of the world. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Yahweh Shai. And, and this is the same thing with this white man, so-called white man, who is really Cesare Borgia. Alright? Saying that he is, the, he is the anointed, shall come saying that I am Hamashiach, which is Christ. Right? Christ, you know, means anointed. Right? So all these, they, this devil, Cesare Borgia, you know, they made him out as he is the anointed, but he's not. Alright? So many are going to come in the name of the Lord and say that they are, the, they are the anointed and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of war. And we hear, we hear rumors of war right now. All right. Russia, you know, and NATO. Right. Um, Ukraine and Russia right now. Okay. You shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All right. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences. All right. All the things she's going to talk about in this video. All right. We had the bird FLU. We had the hepatitis going on. We have Ebola coming back. You have Japanese encephalitis. All right. You know, and all leading to what? Famine and dest destruction and death. All right. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So, this is what the signs you have to look for. And we read about in 2nd Ezra, 9 chapter. All right, because the Lord, because of the wickedness of this world, all right, He's He's bringing down the curtains. All right, He's closing up this 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 wicked queendom. Okay, this is Second Ezra fifteen, and um, I'll start at verse five, verse four. It says, "For all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness. Behold, say the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world: the sword, which is the gun, famine, death, and destruction." For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Alright? Therefore, saith the Lord, I will not I will hold my tongue no more 
as touching their wickedness. Yeah, the Lord had enough. Okay, he had enough. All right, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. All right. So the Lord, the Lord, a eh, the Lord has had enough, and He's gonna He's preparing a sore slaughter. He's sending these plagues. All right, and this is prophecy. All right. Let's go to Revelation 19. It's Revelation 19 and verse 10 it reads, and uh, and as I fell, and and I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See, thou do it not. This is a, the apostle John, John the Revelator, talking, speaking about the angel, right? See, thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Yahweh Shai came with prophecy. Yahweh Shai, the whole book. It's written about Yahweh Shai and the Bible, unlike all these other so-called books, the Quran, the Bhagwan Kita, all these other so-called holy books, have no prophecy in them. They can't help you in this time. Alright, only this only the holy scriptures. Alright? This is our book, book of Israel only. Okay? Alright, and that's the facts. And now we've seen, you know, the difference between chalk and cheese between those other books and the Bible. The Bible is making itself known as the true book. Alright? The true book of Israel. All right, so the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, now when you go to Sirach, let me get that quick. I don't want this video to be too long. Sirach chapter 39, Sirach 39 and verse 1 it, it reads, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Mosai and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients. Right, why? Because the ancient, you know, the Lord, the Lord spoke the truth, the truth from the beginning. Like um, Isaiah 46, we read, we read about Isaiah 46, I think around the 10th, the 10th um, verse. In fact, let me get that back. Just for edification's sake. Isaiah 46 and verse 10, it says, Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. So, you know, he declaring the end from the beginning, from the ancient times, things not yet done. So this is why... We're going to seek out um, um, Sirach 39, verse 1. All right. He that is given to the mind of the law, this mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient, right? The wisdom of all the ancient is prophecy. All right. And be occupied in prophecies. Why? Because we've seen it coming to pass now. All right. The Lord said it will come to pass and it's here. All right. And that's the facts. Okay. Because when you continue in this video here, it goes into plain and all the things that's coming on this place. And it is not going to be nice. Alright? It's definitely not going to be nice. Let's bring in one more precept here. I just want this to be, I just want this to be a, a, a quick video. Alright, I have some more things coming up. Jump into some more deeper stuff later on. Alright, Jeremiah 6 and verse 16, it says, Thus saith Yahweh, stand ye in the ways. And see and ask for the old parts and the ways on the highways and the byways. Right? Who is the man preaching on the highways and the byways? You ain't gonna find um, the pastor, your good pastor, your Roman Catholic priest preaching that. No. You're gonna find the men of the Lord, the Hebrew Israelites. Alright? Pushing this truth. Okay? Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old parts with the ancient things. Alright? The truth. Alright? The truth of prophecy. Alright? Where is the good way and walk therein? And he shall find a rest for your souls. Right, but they say we will not walk where into. No, two thirds not gonna walk in that. But this is this truth is only for the elect right now. Alright? So look for the old path, look for the old ways, look for prophecy. You we are the only men you know on YouTube really pushing prophecy. Alright? You know, the Hebrew Israelites on a whole, but in in you know in particular the men of the great millstone start with the elder apostles. Alright? Start with the, our elder apostles, our teachers in this faith. Okay. Um it's one more precept. This is Sirach, Sirach chapter 5, verse 7, it reads, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, right? We, we see many times, all right, we have a, so long again, all right? Everything's coming to a fore, you see the internet getting ready to be closed down. You had guys like Elon Musk now buying over Twitter, want to buy over Facebook and what, shut it down. It's not by chance. All these videos, they're going to be gone soon. And only the elect who've taken in these videos going to be saved. You know, those who fill the oil lamp, Matthew chapter 25, they were wise virgins. The foolish virgins are not going to be listening to this, these videos. Alright? 
So that, that's the facts. All right, you have to be wise in this truth. You know, there's gonna be a famine of the wood, right? And that, that, that's that's something that's coming to here with all these so-called apocalyptic storms that's coming our way, all right? Which are really prophecy being being coming coming to pass. Okay, so Sirach chapter five and verse seven it said it reads, "Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day." Yeah, do 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 waste time. Ain't got long. Okay. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. Right? So you're supposed to be watching and praying. Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word. If you don't take in this word, you're not going to have any faith. When you always I come back, he's going to be looking for faith. Alright? Faith is the only thing that pleases him and the Father. Alright? As when the scripture says, when the Lord comes, shall he find faith on the earth? Yeah, you're going to find faith. The elect are going to have faith. Alright? For suddenly shall he come for, 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 for um, let me finish and read this here. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Right? The Lord is not coming um, to, to hand out uh, uh, um, cupcakes. Alright? He's coming to slaughter and to kill. Alright? So get yourself right. You know, this is the last, the last warning. Alright? Get yourself right. Alright? I pray this short lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham. Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, destruction unto Babylon, unto this wicked place, Wa Abad Babal, until the next time, Shalom.